Welcome back to Selly Entertainment. I'm your host, Orion Vincent, and tonight we got the Vancouver Sharks versus the Pacific Canadians. This is the BC PHL U18 AAA division. With me, as always, classic co host, Sean Simonson. Hey there, how you doing there, hockey fans? Happy to be back in the booth yet again over in beautiful North Surrey, British Columbia, Canada. And we're looking at the Vancouver Sharks and their goaltenders right there, man, Kowalski. And that's who's going to be holding down the fort for them. And at the other end, we've got the Pacific Canadians and their goalie is Lawyer. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. We might mispronounce your names and we apologize in advance for that. Uh, the Vancouver Sharks with Mankowski in between the pipes right there. And there's the Pacific Canadians with Lawler and net uh, right there Simonson flashing the good old fashioned red Canadian jersey here we go okay and there look at them uh, warming them up Kate okay, so they're getting their game plan together I'm looking forward to this one because these guys are gonna throw their weight around and let's get right into it okay the Sharks have it possession they uh, cross it back to the D man and across the ice and now they get it into the neutral zone and Canadians throw it back into the shark zone Sharks collect it down behind their own net throw it off the boards trying for a breakout and they manage to get it into the neutral zone and it's going nobody but there's a shark number 21 come flying in puts the brakes on takes a shot that goes off the backboard there's 10 fires it's in oh what a goal Simonson there's the dabble number 10 scores he just rung that puck around uh, behind the goalie the Canadians goalie Lawler nice assist by number 21 and there's some rough stuff going on here Simonson not too sure what sparked that it seemed like it was behind the play uh, behind the play of the camera anyways looks like that's Gallic and I'm not too sure who else but let's run it back there's the sharks there from behind their own net. They bring it up the boards there. And look at this. It's number 21 who gives chase. And he just outskates the Canadians player, Simonson, like a shark would. And yeah, he has a shot there. Misses the net, but it's a Dabo in the perfect position there who picks up the puck and he just fires it. I don't know if that went five hole or if it snuck on the right side, but nonetheless, it was a beautiful goal and beautiful play by the Sharks to make that happen. Yeah, I know. That was a uh Nice bounce off the backboards there. You got to know the arena and then how it goes. And then uh, they pop it right in. And here's a little uh, look at the rough stuff that we had in front of the net after the play. Yeah, that's Gallic and Coleman, I believe. And uh, Like I said, Simonson, this was behind the play, behind the camera. So I'm not too sure what sparked that. Uh, maybe if we ran it back a couple more times. We might be able to figure it out. Maybe it happened before that. But this is live commentary, Simonson, so we can't do that. Video's already edited. There's the Canadians there. Oh, nice easy save by Mankowski. Puck just kind of slid into him. And a little bit of more rough stuff going on there, Simonson. All right, here we go. Sharks get it. 19. Gaelic has it. Goes in. Uh, nice little pass to himself off the backboards behind the back. Throws one towards the net, and it bounces back into the courts. There, there's 21. Goes and throws it in. And now there's 10 coming in. Throws it back. for Looking for 21. And then he squir squirts out to the front, and the shot goes wide. They're going to try to bang it in. The Canadians come out with it, and then they flub it, trying to get it out. And there's a little bit of body contact there in the corner. A little bit of hit from behind by the Sharks. And they're going to have a few words, I think. Yeah, words are going to be extremely Changed for sure there, Simonson. Uh, that's Kay Gallic there. You can see right here, Simonson. He played the puck and then he just gave him the huge shoulder there. But then this is where it is, Simonson. He went back for round two. He was still hungry. And uh, Kay Gallic bodied number 29, Rich. And he's going to get the penalty for that, Simonson. I, that, I think that was a little bit of a hit from behind. Um, but yeah, he's going to go for that. Yeah, no, definitely. I agree. Here's the draw in the shark zone. Back to the point. Canadians fire it. And then Mankowski gets that one with the glove. And the Canadians have it again. 22 coming in across the line. There's seven with it. Throws it at the net and another glove save. Nice easy save by Mankowski. That's a goalie's name if I've ever heard one, Simonson. Love it. There's the Canadians on the right-hand side. Curling around the net. Still curling. Looking. Still going. He's playing around the world here, Simonson. Number 12, Ruse there. Is, uh, it's like it's a game of basketball around the world. He's still going for lap number two. It's the Indy 500, Simonson. Gets it right back to number 10. Robinson shoots, and oh, he scores! What a goal! What a play! And, uh, that, yeah, the Indy 500 was something else there, Simonson. Yeah, definitely put a few kilometers on going around the track there a few times over and over, but it all paid off in the end, most definitely. So here, so here we go. Flying in with speed. 12 goes all the way around. Once he doesn't see anything that he likes really and he keeps going as long as you keep your feet moving then it's harder to check you it goes for another lap see he's still looking for options there's nobody really there throws it out front and then it goes to all the way to the point number 10 has it 
fires one there and it gets deflected it looks like and ends up in the back of the net there oh i wonder if that was number 26's goal i'm not too sure but yeah simon said he was going all the way around i think what happened was ruse seen the checkered flag coming and he noticed he knew it was his last lap so he had to do something so he found robinson and robinson just sniped it simonson yeah, there you go there you go now we are all knotted up at one one here seven with the shot and another glove save like it's routine work it is routine work for Mankowski Simonson. There's number 21 of the Sharks are on the backhand and a nice save by Lawler of the Canadians. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so Sharks 21 goes in, goes backhand and then Lawler there makes the save with the pad sliding across and then the puck is fired to the side of the net and then the Sharks player comes in and knocks the net off its moorings. Yeah, exactly Simonson. All right, we have to face off. There's a Canadians down low, number 14 on him. On him, on him, on him. Oh, and he hits him from behind, but there's no penalty on the play. Simon said number seven. Guess gets a puck there. Curling around the dot. Um, goes around, makes a little move. Pete's up and has a shot, and he scores. Nice goal by number seven. Guest of the Canadian, Simon said he was definitely not a guest on this play. No, that was a good one there. Uh, I like how this guy comes bursting into the zone with speed there. But here, as he has it in possession, looking around here for s some cavalry, and then sees a little bit of space, goes for it, makes a couple moves, and then sees where they want to put the puck and labels that one top corner and makes the bottle wiggle. Yeah, top corner, Simonson, right where I keep the pillowcases in the cupboard there. He absolutely labeled that puck. Like I said, this guy was not a guest on this team, Simonson. And his name may be guest, but he was a full-time player and it showed there. Right on, right on. Here we go. Guess with it again. Gets stripped at his own line there. It's turned around. 10 with the flow from the Sharks. Backhand. It's denied by Mankowski. Here back the other way. We've got the Canadians that throw it across the 21. Trying to control bobbling puck and that one's cleared away by Mankowski. Yeah, and there's the Sharks. I mean, oh, but it's the Canadians with the heavy pressure on the forecheck. Oh, look at that. Number 14, Azamosa just throws the counter hit on Felix. There's Felix that comes in and Azamosa there threw the counter, Simon. And that was a reversal right there like they're in a wrestling match oh yeah i know he was prepared for it and that's what you got to be when you're playing hockey it's a fast sport here we are speeding into the zone there of the canadians it's rung around the boards held in by a sharks player gets plowed a little bit there and the puck is down low sharks still have it back to 10 with the flow backhand and it's another no by lawyer yeah lawler with the huge save to make it a no simonson and there's gonna be a penalty on the play right here at number 14 Azamoza or Azamoza there just hits Felix again that's uh that's the second hit that he the, that uh, he's throwing on Felix there so the, I don't know if there's some kind of rivalry or not but nonetheless he's gonna go sit for that yeah I know it looked like an elbowing if anything I didn't quite see the call there but here we are the Sharks have the puck 21 coming flying with speed goes backhand and it's denied again and the rebound as well and it's all gobbled up by Lawyer by Lawler that's a double whammy right there like Robbie Lawler Simonson he just took one punch and another punch like classic UFC vet Robbie Lawler there and yeah he prevented the, the puck from going in the back of the net there and the Sharks are still still trying to hunt Simonson yeah here we are now I don't know what happened here on the play though it was blown dead right away I guess off the face off there was a uh Maybe a holding or something, I think, and then he's gonna have to go and sit. I don't know what they're calling. Roughing is what the call is. Oh, there it is, Simonson. He was a little bit rough there, and he's gonna have to go have a timeout for that. Uh, there's the Sharks. Luca the Dabble there, right back to 18, right back. So he gives it away to a Canadians player, but the Dabble's there. Oh, look, Canadian, the Sharks have a shot and, and denied, Simonson. Absolutely denied. Yeah, Lawler comes up big again with another big save to keep this one at two to one. Here we are, a shot, and that one's saved and absorbed just as well. And here we are again, 10 with the Sharks, goes for her pass in front there, and it was intercepted by the Canadians player. And it's Puck's coming out. It's 18, get loses it. Now the Canadians turn it around, dodges a check, but he can't maintain his footwork, and he just throws it into the Sharks zone. Yeah, and I think there's gonna be some sort of penalty here, Simonson, I didn't catch that. There's a Canadians player, oh, you know what? It's gonna be right there, that dodge. Uh, that was a huge dodge, like he was Neil from the Matrix, but he's gonna have to go sit for that there to Dabo. Um, he's going to go have a timeout for that. Even though there was no connection, maybe it was intent, Simonson, or maybe he clipped him a little bit. 
Yeah, he, well, he was trying to trip him with his leg, and that's a penalty. So there you go. There you go. There you have it, Simon. There's the Sharks in their own zone trying to make moves to get it out. They do. They ring it out. And that's the end of the first period, Simon. So a lot of action in this period. It's 2-1, to one, the Canadians over the Sharks. Lots of hitting. Lots of physical stuff. You can see there's a rivalry between these teams. I'm excited to see what happens. And a nice save by Lawler right there. Yeah, well, I don't want to see any teams getting along on the ice because that would be a very boring hockey game. Here we are. The Sharks with it. They take a shot. Another big blocker save by Lawler and gobbles that one up and swallows it home. Gobble it up like it's a gobstopper, Simonson. There's Ben from the corner that gives it a oh, the, the Dabo scores just like that. Look at that, Simonson. I recognize Ben because he's got that beautiful blue helmet and the Dabo from that beautiful flowing hair, Simonson. These guys are definitely a stylish team. Yeah, the Dabo, number 10 there, right? He's getting all over that rubber. Here we are. Pass, look at that. The stick on the ice, waiting for it, knows what to do with it. Low and gets it past the toe of Lawler. That's right, Simonson. Hard pass, stick hard on the ice, and he just kept it low, right past Lawler there. And the Sharks have just tied up this game. It's two to two, Simonson. Yep, two to two. We're all knotted up. Action going back and forth. And here we are, the Canadians come out with the puck there after the face off, and they're slipping and falling all over the place after a fresh scrape, and it looks like there's gonna be a Tripping call on the play. Yeah, I think that's going to be... Well, have a look, Simonson. Uh, the Canadians player just tripped number 21. So 21, I don't know if this is retaliation or if his stick was just in the way, jumbled. But I believe it's 21 who's going to get the call. It's not going to be the Canadians player. Yeah, so they just picked out the Sharks there, Simonson. They're picking on the Sharks a little bit with that one. I, w I don't know about that. Maybe the ref only seen the one or caught the second one. But nonetheless, there's a penalty there. Here we are. 29 of the Canadians at the point. Fires one to the net. And that one's saved by Mankowski. Oh, Mankowski with the big save, Simonson. Can't quite find the puck, but there it is. There's Calder there, the Sharks, number 18 there. Goes low, has a shot. Nice save by Lawler there. Ben applying pressure. Gets knocked into the net, but the ref's going to blow the play dead, Simonson. Yep, here we go. Okay, face off. And the Sharks have it on the boards. They're trying to maintain possession. They're tr and it gets back to the point, and they manage to throw it in. Now they've got it. They're working it around as they're still on the power play, I believe, here on the half boards. Dabo throws it down low. He's looking for, I think that's number 21. Oh, and that's a nice goal right between the legs there. What a goal by Calder, number 18 of the Sharks, Simonson, with the beautiful assist by Dabo there. And we're going to have to let these boys get their props, and we're going to have to take another look at this one. There's the Dabo there on the half boards, curls around number 14. Beautiful play to psych him out, and then stops short, turns right back around, gives it the Calder down low, and look at Calder here, Simonson. Takes a pass with ease, deeks out number 20. And then look, he's going to use a lay. He sees the lane right there. He's going to hit it a little bit. And then he's going to fire the puck home, Simonson. Yeah, Calder. Sorry, I, mi I misread the number there. 18. Yeah, I like how he walked it out of the corner and took a few steps and then, like, just weighed out his options. And option was to shoot right along the ice, right between the legs. Yeah, well, Simonson, if you don't shoot, you don't score. And Calder knew that. That's why he took the shot. And he scored. Speaking of Calder, there he is. Has another shot and a nice save by Lawler there. Easy glovey. But a nice shot nonetheless. There's a Canadian's. Uh, oh man, a little bit of a collision with number 23 of the Sharks. Let's have a look at this, Simonson. There's the Canadians. It was actually number 23 of the Sharks who tried to throw the hit on the Canadians player, but the Canadians player stiff him. He, he stiffed him, Simonson. There's a hit right there, and uh, 24 of the Canadians manages to stay up off of it, but loses the puck. And there's another hit by the Sharks. Godabo has it. Oh, and a nice little move there by 22 of the Canadians, and a nice save there by Mankowski. So as we roll this back, look at the toe drag move and walks in with it, fires it, and I believe it got tipped off of the stick of uh, one of the, I think the Sharks player, and then it was saved by Mankowski there. Yeah, what a save by Mankowski on Ray. Anyways, there's a Sharks and a nice easy top glove save by Lawler and a little bit more rough stuff going on, Simonson. Anyways, there's the Canadians in the neutral zone, gains the zone of the Sharks there, making moves all over the place, has a shot, and what a save by Mankowski to take away what would have been an excellent highlight goal, but it wasn't. Yeah, here we are, okay, Dadabo going down, trying to work in that corner, gets up, the, gets the puck, goes for the wraparound, can't score. Squeeze it in, and the ref blows it dead. Oh, Simon said he went for the classic wraparound, but no goal on that. There's a Canadians player there trying to do the same thing. Goes for wraparound, but no, gives it to number 23, and he's stopped by Mankowski, and the re and the play is blown dead. The net's off, Simonson. Yeah, here we go, and now the action keeps happening here. Deep in the zone of the Sharks. It's thrown in front to the slot. Shot point-blank range, and it was saved by Mankowski. Again, the rebound was clear.
cleared. So look at it. There's the puck right in the slot. There's the shot. Mesa save thinks he has it, and then it's actually sitting behind him, and then they get it out of harm's way. And now here we are. They try to clear the zone, but they can't get it out. And then uh, the Pacific Canadians are coming in. S head full of steam. Fire one. Nice pad save by Mankowski. Yeah, really nice pad save by Mankowski here, Simonson. Puck scores to number four, and look at that sharp reflex there, Mankowski, to get the pad down there and make that save. Uh, anyways, here's the Vancouver Sharks. Number 20 has a shot. Nice, easy glove save by Lawler. Lawler's got that glove dialed in, Simonson. He's got it on speed dial. For sure, for sure. Here we are. Okay, the puck is in uh, Canadian zone. And there's the Sharks. 20 with the shot, and the glove is yet again dialed in. Rate calibrated the way it's supposed to be. Did you see that windmill? Uh, that was straight done from After Effects, Simonson. The delay there it took a little, you know, he had to wait for the wind to gust. Anyways, here's the Canadians there in the neutral zone with speed. Number seven with number 23 streaking has a shot and a nice easy save by Mankowski. And, and yeah, that's going to be that. Yeah, okay, here we are. Sharks have the puck. They throw it in the neutral zone trying to bank it off the boards and make a play out of nothing. But here we are. They get, get it uh, back after the Canadians had it. And that's the end of the second period. Well, well, that's two, Simonson, and it's three to two for the Vancouver Sharks, and what a game. Jam-packed full of action here. Let's jump right back in with Ben. Has a shot, but it's blocked there. Ben still whacking out. Has another shot. Looks like that's called in there. Right to the dabble. Oh, the dabble. Just shot number 18, his own player in the head there, Simonson. And, uh, I mean, that's the goalie's like, yeah, that's how I feel when I get a puck to the head from you guys. Oh, head shots. We're not playing video games here. All right, yeah, he just fought right to the back of the head. Fires that one. Good thing you're wearing a CSA approved helmet. <laughs> Most definitely, Simonson. That wasn't a light shot either from Dadabo. These kids can shoot. He just absolutely lasered that puck right in the back of number 18's head. I think that's Calder. Anyways, play goes on. There's Ben in the corner there of the Pacific Canadian zone. Battle down low, but it's Dadabo who gets it on a weak backhand. Fluffs that one, Simonson. But the puck's still loose, and it's going to get. Uh, blown dead, Simonson, and there's a little bit of rough stuff, and the Canadians player just face washed Dadabo. Number 26, Seth, I believe, is gonna get that one. Okay, so there you go. So there's a lot of action there in front of Lawler there, and he goes to cover up the puck. It's still free, but the ref lost sight of it, so that's why they blew it down dead. And then, yeah, they have it's a close game. It's three to two for the Sharks here over the Canadians, so they have a few words that they're gonna be exchanging, because emotions are gonna run high at a time like this, at this point of a game. Most definitely, Simonson. I fully agree. In games like this, when it's so close, emotions are going to run high. And rough stuff happens. I mean, it's hockey, Simonson. It's not figure skating. This is hockey. Rough stuff happens. Anyways, let's jump right back into it, Simonson. And looks like there's a penalty on the play. Yeah, no, and speaking of the emotions, you got to really control them there or else you end up sitting in the box. See, that was a cross-check that was unnecessary. And yeah, and yeah, you're gonna have to sit for two. Yeah, number 13, Kalman's gonna sit for two on that cross check. He uh, he cross checked Ben, or sorry, Bell, number 14, which was absolutely uh, it was unnecessary roughness, Simonson. It didn't need to happen. Anyways, they're gonna get penalized in the nice shot and a nice easy save by Lawler there. Swallows it up. Here we are. Sharks have it in the zone of the Canadians. It's Dadabo going around the net, protecting the puck, and he drops it down for Calder, I believe that is, and or no, number 16, whoever that is at the moment. I don't know. It's too much action, but they're controlling it and they're cycling it down low, out front, gets interrupted. There's Calder with a shot that doesn't go through. Backhand right in the bread basket of Lawler. He's selling bread out that basket, Simonson. He's been selling it all night long. Here's number seven, guest of the Canadians on the left hand side there has a shot and he scores just like that Simonson wow that was an absolute beauty by guess there that was an absolute beautiful goal like you had just said there coach yeah there's no doubt about that one okay so head up all the way this kid is always looking and making nifty moves through the neutral zone see look at he's the vision is already staring at that top corner it goes right in there and then fires that one upstairs as high as you can get. Yes, Simonson, and if you look at that play, the Sharks player left the, the goal, uh, the shooter with the goalie, and I think there might have been another player, uh, Canadian, on the other side, so he was taking the pass away, and it, I mean, it was what it was. He sniped it home. They weren't expecting that one, Simonson. No, it was a beautiful goal. Let the goaltender take the shooter, but you know what? When you sh fire a shot like that, 
It's hard to stop it. Here we are, 14 of the Canadians coming in. Protecting the puck, tries to squeeze one in on the short side, can't do it, and then the net comes off. Oh, and this is more physical stuff right there with number 23. He's clearly outsized. Uh, the Canadians player towers over him. That guy is huge, Simon. Let's run this back. Number 14 there has a shot. Kind of missed a little bit or whatever. Goes for the wraparound there. Mankowski's there to take that away. And there's number 23 of the Sharks. I got to admire this guy's courage, Joe Simonson, and his heart there. Just pushing his player. He's clearly outsized, but he doesn't care, Simonson. That's heart. Yeah, no, that's right. He just wants to clear that net. But unfortunately, it looks like he's going to have to go and have a little sit down and calm down for a moment. Here we are. Guest with the puck. Or the Canadians. And then down low. Fired back to the point. Five's got it. And looking around. Sends it over to 22. Fires that one, and that one gets behind. No, and that is in the back of the net. That's in, Simonson. Number 22 of the Canadians. Ray scores with the beautiful assist by number five of the Canadians, Calder. And look how hyped up he is, Simonson. He's throwing his arms up. He's cheering with the boys. Let's have a look at this. There's Guest right down low. Gives it right to the point man, number five, Calder of the Canadians. Number five, look in there. Look, he feeds Ray right there. And look at Ray all the time in the world. Takes his time and just snipes at home Simonson has a shot has a clear vision there and he knew what to do with it and that was to put, put the puck in the back of the net yeah no and they utilized that uh, power play there and uh, you know they moved the puck around and they were able to get a nice shot off and it worked out it sure did Simonson the Canadians are up four to three over the Sharks there with 13 minutes to go in the third this is definitely a game Simonson and emotions are running high oh and speaking of with the Dabo just threw a huge hit on Seth that was a thunderous bone crunching hit. Boom, turns around and hello, is anybody home? Well, cause I'm here. Hello. Wow, and a big hit by Dabo. Lionel Richie there, Simonson. There's Guest there, he gets rocked by Dabo. Dabo just turned up the volume here, Simonson, in the third. Oh, number 18, Calder, gets sandwiched by two Canadians. This game is getting rougher by the second there. Number 16 has a shot and a nice save by Lawler to try to calm things down a little bit here, Simonson. Yeah, there we go, there's the face off, and the Sharks get it, and then Lawler makes a save, and another amazing save, and a third one, a hat trick of saves. Look at this, there's Calder, the first one, he kind Kind of fluffed it, but it, was, it would have went five home, but it got oh. shut. And then there's Lawler diving across to Desperate, and then with a big blocker, baby. That second and third save in that sequence was unbelievable, Simonson. I'm smiling from that. Anyways, there's Guest there. He gave the puck away to number eight of the Sharks there, who springs number 20. It's a foot race. To number 20 and five. Number 20 gets on the backhand, and Lawler is there to prevent that from going in. Another big save. So look at that. Guest was trying to walk right in, and it gets denied. And then I think that was Calder that flips that backhand. And sauce up to 20 there and then the poke check failed but the pad didn't no, the pad didn't and that was number 20 levers of the sharks who had that opportunity but lawler's not giving away many chances simonson there's 23 of the sharks there gets rocked by the canadians player and it looks like i see the referee's arm shoot up i don't know if that's a penalty or if that was offside but plays gonna go on for the sharks here the sharks in the neutral zone the canadians pickpocket at number 12 there making moves rushing through the entire sharks team dangle the demon on the forehead oh that would have been a huge goal Simonson. Oh 12 of the Canadians. It goes through three sharks in infested waters there and then there's the shot and Mankowski catches just enough of it and it trickles on wide to stay out of the net and now the sharks have it. They ring it around the boards. There's D D Dabo. He goes, tries to get it out but it doesn't get out and it's stuck on the half boards there. There they are. They're regrouping. There's a sauce in their own front of their net and there's a whistle on the play for a Penalty. Yeah, Simonson. See, look what happened here. I really had to slow this one down so you can get a clear look of it. The Dabo's jousting with 26, I believe. Look at the sneaky butt end right there. Did you see that, Simonson? I did not. I did not. I missed that one. But I guess we're not rolling it back again. Nonetheless, there, there's two minutes if you're lucky in the bin. And here we are, 12, coming at it again. Flying through, goes in that time, he puts it in. Oh, second time's the charm, Simonson. And Ruse just buried that one. Almost identical to how he almost buried it before. Let's have a look at this. There's Ruse there, right up the middle. Just beats out two sharks. Look at that, number 88. Can't get anything, number 21. Ruse goes through everyone, and then he picks the corner, and Mankowski's just helpless there, Simonson. Yeah, I know. That was a very nice uh, stick-handling display there. And yeah. That was a hard one to stop. And I'm not a goaltender. 
there, but I do know it would be difficult. Yes, that would be very difficult to stop that, Simonson. And Rue is showing Rue is showing a lot of skill here tonight uh, in this game, Simonson, showcasing a lot. I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing. Anyways, there's a Canadian in the corner there, turns it around, gets rid of the Sharks player, but it's a Sharks number 20 who picks it back up there. Uh, Sharks come regather the puck, backhand it down low. There's a Canadians player, number 13, there rings it around, trips over his own skate, Simonson. Maybe got tangled with the boards, but the Sharks are going to capitalize that. Fire it in, and somehow the puck goes in, Simonson. Number eight, Opal just scored. We're going to have to run that one back and see exactly what happened. There was a little bit of a mishap there in number 13, which started this all. Yeah, a devastating series of events there. Trips over his own skates there, toe picks first, has his head up looking for the pass, up ice and float fumbles it and then it gets taken by a shark and then goes and throws that one right in the back of the net. Yeah, he sure did, Simon. said, I don't think Lawler knew exactly what was going on there. He just threw it. He kind of kind of hooked it around, Simon. And Captain Hook over there. Anyways, there's the Sharks. They're still in the Pacific Canadian zone. They're only down by a goal. The Sharks have the shot and a huge save by Lawler to keep the Canadians up. Yeah, there we are. And here's Lawler with another big save. Canadians are trying to clear it. It gets to the point. Sharks hold it in. And 16 tries to throw it towards the net, but that gets broken up there. And the puck scrambling and then the Canadians clear the zone. It's picked up by 14 of the Sharks. And then over to his partner, Calder. Takes a shot. That one is denied by Lawler. Yeah, denied by Lawler, Simonson. We're looking at the clock because you know there's not much time left. The Canadians, oh, there goes the buzzer right there, Simonson. And the Pacific Canadians have won this game 5-4 to four over the Vancouver Sharks in an absolute barn burner of a match between these two. I really enjoyed that one. There was a lot of good hockey, a lot of physicality. You can tell that these teams are rivals for sure. And if they weren't before, they are now. Oh, yeah, no, this is definitely a very exciting game to watch. There's a lot of physicality, a lot of dirty dance angles, beautiful goals, some excellent saves. I had a good time here tonight.